Hey, what's up? It's Swamp. Back for another tutorial. Okay, and this one what I'm going to do is show you how to simulate an underwater track. And so I'm starting out here in the desert. I just threw down this drive line so uh, we could uh, put some sand texture down and it would it would look a little better, I think, you know, starting in the desert. All right, so uh, the first thing we are going to do is throw down some sand. So go to Environment, Terrain Modification, Terrain Shaping. I'm going to open that up and set it to sand 2, which I think looks pretty good on an underwater track. All right, and then we're going to scale it up. So, see, that looks pretty good. All right, so now with the environment settings, hit the down arrow, and you go to track settings, and then we'll go to environment. Now the, the longitude and time of day, this is pretty much just going to be the angle of the sun and the right and left movement of the sun, which uh, if you go to time and day here, the sun angle is the um, up and down movement and the longitude is the right and left movement. So you can set your sun where you want. I'm going to make it a little bit darker here, just by bringing the sun intensity down. The sunlight color. I'm just going to leave it as white for now. You can mess around with this stuff. Humidity level, bring that up because we're underwater. Ambient color, I'm going to set that to around 202, which is a nice color. You can adjust this. You know, these are just the colors that I use. So, all right, ambient color. Sky properties aren't really going to matter because we're not going to see the sky. All right, so now we're going to go to fog. Now the fog color is what we're going to set. We're going to also set it to 202. Bring it up a bit in the color wise. Okay, so now um, sunlight influence doesn't really matter. Well, it, it might. You could play around with it. What that means is, is how much the sunlight color affects the fog color. So you can at zero, it's not going to affect it at all, and 100%, it's going to be its most affected. All right, so now uh, sky fog density, we can bring that up to 100. And fog density, let's bring that up, and you see that starts to look like water. You could bring it down to however you want, however like dense you want the water, if you want it clear or something like that. And like I said, this is like a simulation of a water track. This is not actually underneath water. That's uh, You start screwing around with a bunch of gravity stuff and stuff like that. And so if you just want to, just a straight gravity track, normal gravity, and you want to make it look like you're underwater, you can use this effect. All right, so just bring the fog density up however you want. Then you can screw around, like I said, with your with your colors. The view distance you could definitely bring down because you're not going to need that to be so high. And you see how it, it, it makes the fog a little more dense. So you may need to adjust the fog after you bring that down. So you can bring that density back down a bit. All right, now another thing that's really going to affect the the believability of this being an underwater track is the sound. So let's go to common game and let's grab a sound source, a looping sound source, and open that up and set that to underwater. I have the sound turned down right now, so I'm not sure if it's going or not. I'm assuming it is. All right, so you want to click static. That means you're going to hear the sound throughout the whole track. If you don't click static, that means the sound is going to be just playing when you get close to it. You'll just hear the sound. Let's bring this down a bit. And the parameters, this just makes makes it sound like deeper water. You can play around with these sounds however you want. Okay, so now uh, another thing you could do is you can use some stuff from the uh, Abyss DLC. Welcome to the Abyss DLC. Some of the effects are really nice. Bubble effects, bubble streams. Put those in. You see when we ride the track. Looks pretty nice. I mean, you can put uh, you can put plants down and you know a bunch of different decor. Let me show you how to um, show this in the area condition one, so I'll show it again. Uh, to attach a stream of bubbles to the rider's head. So let's set this to two. All right, so now we're gonna use an object position event to set this bubble jet, bubble stream jet, uh, coming from the rider's head. 
So let's go to triggers and events. What we're going to use is an interval trigger. And we're going to use an object position event. And we're going to use a data source. It's going to be a vector object info. And that gives us the position of the router's head. So set the type to position and select object. We're going to select the router's head. All right, so now that gives us the position of the router's head in the world. So we need to use a global value. This is a global value, so we need to use it as a global value in the object position event. So we're going to turn off local, meaning it'll be using global. Now position, we're going to want to connect these using uh, picking value objects. We're going to want to connect these to the vector object info. So collected, connected X, Y, and Z. We don't need to rotate. So you can turn that off. And then event target is going to be the bubble stream. All right, so now the impulse is going to power all that. So let's open up the impulse, set it to 1, so it sends an interval every frame. And the event filter will go to the object position event. All right, so now let's open up the bubble stream, make sure it doesn't have any physics to it because we don't want to kill our rider. And I'm going to test this by pushing the play button and see how the bubble stream connects to the rider's head. So let's ride a little bit, show you what it looks like. So cool, that looks pretty good. Now, um, you can, uh, you can, you know, put in plants and, and all kinds of stuff in this track and it'll look, uh, you know, bubbles and, and stuff like that and give it a lot more of a fish and stuff like that, give it a lot more of an underwater feel. But you see that you don't have to mess with the, the, uh, the gravity and the problems of you know killing the rider and all that kind of stuff that you have those kind of problems you have with the underwater itself like real underwater so this is how you do it thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like